Investigators say deputies were shot at while trying to arrest a suspect accused of shooting and killing another man this morning near Kings Highway and North Bear Drive. Medics rushed the wounded deputy to Grady Hospital, and we have live team coverage of what exactly happened today. Fox 5's Anjali Proctor is live at Grady Hospital. We begin first with Fox 5's Tyler Fingert, who was first on the scene today. He's live in the neighborhood where it all went down. Tyler, what have you learned there? Yeah, Christine, good afternoon to you. Investigators say a man is dead, three others wounded, including a Douglas County Sheriff's deputy after a shooting this morning. Take a look behind me. The scene still very active at this hour here on North Bear Drive. Just within the last 20 minutes, the corner arrived. When deputies responded this morning, they say they confronted the suspect who opened fire, striking a deputy multiple times. Yellow crime scene tape blocked off a huge portion of a Douglas County neighborhood Wednesday while the county sheriff's office and the GBI investigated a deputy involved shooting. Ashley Budahazy claims to be the suspect's sister and says this all started as a family fight at a home on North Bear Drive that escalated to gunfire around 9.30 a.m. They got into an argument, cops were called, and my brother had his gun out, and the cops shot my brother. Douglas County Sheriff's deputies say when they got to the scene, they found a man who had been shot in the front yard. The victim, who later died, reportedly told them the suspect who shot him was inside the house. When they entered into the residence, they received gunfire, striking one of our deputies. Uh, they returned fire, striking the individual who had opened fire on the deputies. Law enforcement sources tell Fox 5 the male deputy was shot twice in the vest and once in the shoulder. He was rushed to Grady Memorial, where he's expected to survive. Investigators say the suspect who shot him was flown to Grady. A woman inside the home was also shot and rushed to the hospital, but it's unclear who shot her. Buda Hazy says her 27-year-old brother has autism and has a mental capacity of a 12-year-old. She says he owns a gun and is not a violent person, but does have anger issues. We used to get into argument, like, arguments. We got into like little, little fights, yeah. but never, never nothing to the extent where a gun was pulled out or anything. Right now, investigators have not identified anyone involved, but the family member says everyone is related. A neighbor tells me that police are no stranger to that home. They've responded out there multiple times over the last several months. We are live in Douglas County this afternoon. Tyler Fingert, Fox 5 News. All right, Tyler, thanks for the latest from there.